Today is February 7th, 2022. My name is TJ, and this is your daily tarot and guidance reading. This is a pick a card style reading, and we will be using two different decks. Um, we will have an Angel Oracle deck and the Smith White Tarot. There will be three different groupings for you to choose from. The first group will be represented by the green Adventuring Stone. And um, this stone helps to promote healing of your body. It also helps to protect your home and your garden. And um, it helps you with past life work. The second reading from the second group will be from the Tiger's Eye. And the Tiger's Eye helps you with fear and anxiety and bringing harmony and peace and balance. It also helps you to make decisions. And the third reading from the last group will be from the Rose Quartz Stone. And this stone represents unconditional love in all forms. If you would like, please take a moment and pause the video to see which group resonates with you. Or if you would like, you can go into the description box below and uh, find your reading. So let's get started, shall we? The first reading from the first group is from the Green Adventuring group. It's like I repeated the same sentence three times. <laughs> All right, Green Adventuring group. Your angel oracle card is child. And here you have an angel. And she is holding a little baby angel. And they are just, you know, it looks like... It, well, wow, pardon me. It looks like it's sunrise and um, it looks like they're enjoying the scenery. This card says, you care deeply about children and they readily respond to your love. All children, including your own inner child, require love, affection, and attention. We can uh, clear and open your heart and schedule so you can give more time and energy to the children who need you. So you have this card in combination with the justice card and uh, for those who don't know i'm using a game of thrones themed deck and here you have ned stark and you have the battle of the scales of justice um which he is sitting in the middle of on the iron throne um you have this card in combination with the queen of spears in reverse and this is daenerys targaryen and she is at a uh like a gladiator type event so the justice card usually signifies decisions going in your way. It could be legal. Um, it could be that you simply have, you also judged fairly. So if you were not being, you know, so kind or whatnot, you might get your comeuppance, but usually this, this signifies things going in your favor. Now you have this in combination with the queen of spears in reverse. And this is someone who usually acts out someone with usually a lot of childlike behavior, green adventuring group. I'm getting the impression that today you might encounter a situation in which you win in which something goes into your favor in which you have made progress um, and perhaps there's someone around you who acts out it could be out of jealousy but i'm getting the sense there's a sense of immaturity there and um, today you're being encouraged to open your heart and give them the type of energy in which um, as opposed to being abrasive towards them perhaps have an understanding that doesn't mean that you need to necessarily take um whatever it is that this queen of spears person or situation brings out this is this is usually someone that has a lot of drama um again that can be loud um uh very emotional very rash so you know you can't control how other people react but I wish you nothing but the best because it seems like something is going in your way. There's some sort of abundance or some, there's some sort of prosperity. There's some sort of advancement. And, um, you know, maybe this is something that helped you feed your own inner child, but for some reason, someone else isn't going to, um, have the capacity to deal with it in a mature way or to process in a mature way for whatever reason. And you don't have to hold on to, you know, you're not responsible for their emotions, but you can lend your energy to bring healing and um, peace of mind for even for yourself to know that you were a stand up citizen and human being and you did nothing but spread love and positivity. So Green Adventuring Group, I wonder what is going to work in your favor today. And you know what? Don't mind other people. You just enjoy yourself and the fruits of your labor. And um, if you can, you know. You can, you can meet other people's harshness with kindness. I hope you have a wonderful day, Green Adventuring Group. And if you enjoy this reading, please give me a like. You can subscribe if you would like as well and come back for more. All right. The second reading from the second grouping is going to be represented by the Tiger's Eye Group. Let's see. Oh, I love this card. 
So you have the Perfect Timing Angel Oracle card and you have an angel surrounded by music notes and it says, now is the perfect moment for you to act on your inspirations. The doors are open while you walk through them with us by your side. Don't delay or procrastinate all as all of the ingredients are ripe for your success. Everything and everyone is on your side supporting your positive outcome. Now, as you can see, my cards are well loved. I've been using these bad boys for quite some time and I really feel connected I really feel a, a sense of connectedness um, using them to, you know, connect with those who love and care for me and those who protect us and want best for us in humanity. So, um, the Tiger's Eye group, you have the hanged man, and this is uh, a man whose skin has been peeled and he's hanging on a cross. And this card can represent being in a state of limbo, having to make a decision, um, but there's time associated with it. And this card is the Hermit. And here you have Bran Stark and he in the Game of Thrones series. Oh, for those who don't know, this is a Game of Thrones deck. Um, so this character has the ability to, has the ability of sight. They can see the past, the present, the future. And uh, they can also see through the eyes of animals. Now this card in reverse also represents Weight. It represents isolation. It represents solitude. Usually this is unexpected though. So um, Tiger's Eye Group, you know, these cards kind of both have the same meaning. So today it's, it seems like the impression that I'm getting is that perhaps there has been something that has been using your energy and you have been yearning your body your physical being maybe your spirit has been yearning for an opportunity to truly rest like not pretend rest like really really rest and you'll hopefully get that opportunity today um it was it's unexpected um it wasn't something you planned on maybe you're, you're experiencing a snow day maybe um you know the day the, the times we live in maybe for whatever reason you have to be isolated you're having you're given an opportunity to rest so even if, if that comes in that can come in so many different forms why we're we being forced to like take a break why we're we being forced to hit the bench but whatever it is it's, it seems like this is something that you need so what i wonder you know maybe today i'll have an opportunity to reflect upon um how it is that you're using your energy and um you know see if you can bring a better balance so that way you are rested on a regular and continuous basis um because your energy is so important. It's part of your life source. But you know what? No need to fret. Today, it seems like you're going to, you're being forced to recharge. You are being, you know, you are being given the opportunity to reset. So even if this comes about in an unexpected way, which it probably will, because you have the hermit here in reverse, um, even if it comes in a way that it makes you say, oh man, shucks, you know, Take it as a good thing. Sometimes we don't stop unless we're forced to stop. And today, you might be forced to stop. I hope you enjoy your rest and your calm and your pause. Tigers Like Group, if you felt like this reading resonates with you and you enjoyed it, give me a like. You can hit subscribe. Come back for more. Let me know that you're enjoying this and it's uh, hitting the people who it needs to hit. I hope you have a wonderful day and I wish you nothing but the best. Let's move on to the last reading, the third reading, and that is from The Rose Quartz. I love these stones. They're so nice and they feel great in their hand, in your hand. They are healing stones. These are given to me by a friend, a good, a good friend. So it started off with positive vibrations and I hope to send the positive vibrations off to you. So Rose Quartz Group, your angel oracle card is acceptance. And it says, see yourself and others through the eyes of the angels with unconditional love and acceptance in this way you inspire and lift everyone to their highest potential now you have this card in combination with the six of spears which represents uh, um, a foreigner who has come to a land uh, and has you know set their those on the lowest rung of the social order um, to freedom and given them choices but it's been a rough transition and you know sometimes when from one person's perspective you can be a liberator and, and from another person's perspective you can be a uh, uh, a conqueror but here you also have the sun and it's upright and you have this dragon drogon roaring and facing towards it 
absorbing all of the energy and the warmth from it. So Rose Quartz Group, the impression that I'm getting from your reading today, taking everything into consideration, is that uh, there's something that you have been working towards. There's something that you have focused your energy on. And you have done what you have were supposed to do. So you need to accept the performance and accept the energy that you have put into it. But now is an opportunity because you're being now is an opportunity for you to show acceptance and release because um, perhaps there's a delay. But you have the sun card here. And this is the most positive card, I would say, in the um, in, in this tarot deck because it represents happiness, success, growth, relationships in all areas. It's it's like the yes, it's it's the you get to bask in the sun after all that hard work. So, you know, accept the love, accept what you've done. You poured love into something, you poured positive energy into something and in some sort of focus. You're being you're experiencing perhaps a delay. Perhaps there's a, a, a there's been a te been a temporary break of communication. I mean, in these days, there's so many reasons why things can be delayed. Our attentions are spread so thin. Our energy is spread so thin, um, and you know. But your efforts are aren't for naught. They came from a great place. Accept what you've done because it's been wonderful, and you're you're going to see the the wonderful positivity that comes from it. Sometimes you need to let things percolate. You know, you put you put your ingredients into a pot. You set the pot to, to to a boil and to a simmer, and you give it a chance to thicken and for all the flavors and the the ingredients to gel together, right? So sometimes that that delay is 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 the process, and the process has to happen. And you know, sometimes it's a short process and sometimes it's a long process. But usually, you learn something along the way. But no that you put in that work, you put in that effort, you put in that love and you need to accept it for what it is. You, you worked, you came from a great place. You were sending off positive vibrations and you will definitely feel that coming back to you. I hope that if you enjoyed this reading, you could let me know, let me know in the comments below. And uh, I hope that for those who have tuned in, this has helped you in your day or this can help you in your day. Take care and bye now.